Now, on another matter, the American people are absolutely sick, sick and tired of living under Bidenomics. According to one recent survey, nearly 70% of Americans think the economy is actually getting worse. And support for President Biden's handling of the economy is at the lowest level of his presidency. It might have something to do with the fact that since President Biden took office, soaring inflation has turned rising wages into net pay cuts for American workers. Real wages are down 2.3 percent since 2021. Household incomes fell in 17 states last year. And for all but the wealthiest 20 percent of households, American family savings have actually shrunk. A food truck owner in Atlanta told reporters recently that he is paying, listen to this, 25 percent more for ingredients, while the lines for his sandwiches are dwindling as customers cut back on their spending. Here's what he said. I've had to raise some of my prices just to kind of keep up to make it. And gas prices, when you drive a food truck, you only get eight miles a gallon. So the cost of my fuel really hurts. Here's what the Fed chairman, Jerome Powell, said last week. People hate inflation. Hate it. Well, the chairman of the Fed is absolutely right. Working families are tired of wondering how to make ends meet every month. They're tired of being told that Bidenomics is working for them.